uh, the grade 12s and welcome to today's video in which we are just quickly going through question number six not going to be a long one this question was worth 10 marks we're still in the um, September theory trial paper okay so this question focused on information management so let's go through the questions firstly they said refer to a formal written report such as your pet I know the infamous pet and explain the purpose of a number one a task definition and 6.1.2 uh, was references now again I want to use the memos language so that you can understand uh, what and how they want you to actually answer in the final explain the purpose of a task definition they wanted you to say the purpose is to describe what needs to be done in your own words taking into account what the problem is that you need to investigate and what the investigation would be about then for references what's the purpose of a reference you could use any one of the following it is a list of sources that were quoted in the report it shows the evidence of where you got the information from and it will <laughs> indicate to us as teachers if plagiarism was actually committed so there's a definite purpose to your references 6.2 when you did research for your pet and i know you did because copying and pasting from the internet is not going to work um, when you did research for that you found some of the information on the topic appeared to be unsuitable okay so obviously you went to websites you checked through books magazines you looked for information and you found that some of it was relevant some of it was not suitable or not relevant at all state two indications that some of the information found may not be accurate and cannot be used in your report so you could say this well any two of the following reasons number one the author is not an authority on the topic the information is too old the information might be biased which means it's one-sided the information might even be very limited so it just sort of touches the surface of the particular topic the information cannot be cross referenced and the information was plagiarized so any of those two reasons you could have used um, when it came to 6.2 state two indications that some of the information that you found may not be accurate and therefore cannot be used in your report 6.3 closed question so what is a closed question a closed question is a question that has a definite answer so um, you might have a question like <laughs> something like um, do you have a car sorry I was I was thinking of another question but I can't ask, ask that do you have a car and you have the answers yes or no that's a closed question right so you're either going to tick yes or you're going to tick no an open-ended question is one that is asking for your opinion so what is your opinion about people who have cars versus people who don't have cars now that's that's open because it's open to interpretation you can have whole paragraphs and pages of answers but they're talking about closed questions so 6.3.1 says discuss one limitation of using closed questions in a questionnaire and they mentioned here yeah, and you could use any one of these you have limited options those limited options might give you skewed data the respondent may want to give an answer that's not in the list that you've provided options may be biased towards a particular point of view and no indications of whether the respondent understood the questions so while closed questions are very good um, you just need to bear in mind that these are some of the limitations give 6.3.2 give two benefits for a researcher when closed questions are answered electronically so you create a whole electronic form you send this out you you wanted to get feedback from people you create the electronic form people fill it out there and they email it back to you now two benefits and i'm going to give you a, a number of them as per the memo it's easier to process you can read all the responses data capturing can be automated it's easier to share the data data validation of responses can be done quickly response times are a lot quicker as well and you have a higher return rate okay simply because it's easier for people to go in click a couple of options say yes they done submit like a google form 
easy for people to do that and send it back to you. Then lastly, 6.4, state three ways in which a chart or graph can be made easier to interpret when it's included in a report. I'm going to read that again. State three ways in which a chart or graph can be made easier to interpret when it's included in a report. Well, we don't just add charts. Yes, we've, we've now got our data. I mean, I mean, most of us know from our pet, we had the questionnaire, we um, sent the questionnaire out, we get the responses, and now we want to turn that into a spreadsheet. We've done that, and now we want to take that and turn it into a chart. We don't just say insert chart, pie chart, and done. No. Even though we, that is part of the process, we insert things like a chart title, legends, the use of axes, um, your grid lines, data labels, colors, trend lines, all those things put together takes your chart and makes it far more useful, far more easier to interpret, especially if you are putting, you know, different colors in to indicate the different levels as well. And great 12s, that's it for question number six. Hope you're still learning with me. You're still, you know, engaging. Um, remember, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Um, you can also reach out to me on my email and obviously in the description, you've got the link to book a one-on-one -on -one session with me. So thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you in question number seven.